path of a steam. Smell of steam. Dumm, das hier, was ist das Stumm, das hier? Stürmmaschine. Why shouldn't the guy let off on steam? The steam! Okay, I wanted to do a little screencast this morning because I am looking for more work. So I'm on Upwork and I have these sections. I've set up a job feed for Cinemagraph, video editing, recommended. And I have to come on here every day, ideally, and look for jobs that I can do. So here's one that's been posted 10 hours ago. It's got payment verified, so this is probably something that I would look at. Unfortunately, it's not something that I'm necessarily good at. So creative online customer service guru. So I'd probably have to skip that, keep on going down until I find something relevant to me. Um, so here's... I'm trying to find something so I can show you one of the problems. So let's just go for this social media marketer one here. Now, you'll see that it's a fixed price, $400, and they need to hire two freelancers. If we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that they've had five to ten proposals on it, and it was last viewed by the client a day ago, and they're not interviewing anybody. Now, most of the time when I come on to Upwork, a lot of these have had 20 to 50 people who have a applied for it and they're either interviewing three or four and it's very difficult to get either a response or or get the job so one of the things I did set up some time ago was a little system that alerted me using uh, IFTTT when new feed matches uh, matches matched for instance like conference or video editor or just things like that so if I go through my Go to services, go to my applets. You can see I've set up a bunch of different applets here. This one's for conference, this one's for webmaster, cinemagraph, keynote. Now, I noticed when I had a look at this this morning that when I went to this URL, this URL, by the way, is the URL to the RSS feed. So one of the, one of the wonderful things that Upwork does is it creates a RSS feed of those jobs. So if I quickly go back to job feed again, go to video editing, you'll see that there's triple dots here above the main feed row here. And you can see I've got RSS and Atom feeds in there. If I right click on RSS feed, then it gives me an RSS feed of all those jobs. So here's the RSS feed that I can subscribe to. Now, this morning I went to look at it and I've noticed here that it says feed not found as of December the 1st. So I'm not sure if they've changed the way they do the feed or if it's a security token thing. Uh, but basically, I can't get to that RSS feed without this security token. So maybe it's an updated security token, password change, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through of how I get this all set up so that it sends me alerts via RSS feed. So one of the services that I use is a, a great service called push, pushover.net. Uh, pushover.net is like a notification service so think of it like Google notifications or, or Apple notifications that you get on your phone or your desktop and it runs as a web client but also you can put it on your desktop and your phone so you can get pushed different no notifications from different places so the great thing about pushover is that you can connect to it using command line Perl Ruby PHP so pretty much everybody's covered there in terms of API's if you are a programmer now I looked into it was like okay I want this on my phone but I'd also like this on my desktop what is available for desktop so they have a desktop browser but that doesn't really solve anything because I need it kind of in my I need it as a notification that pops up not always in my browser not necessarily always in my browser on their website so they've got this thing here push push over for desktop is free to try for seven days after which a one-time license must be purchased for $4.99. So I purchased the, the license for $4.99, but I'm using a open source client, an unofficial version called Pullover. Now Pullover just sits in my bar here at the top on my Mac, and you can see it says status online, last thing a few seconds ago. So what Pushover does is it just sits in my tray, and any notifications that Pushover gets will automatically be sent to pullover because I'm logged into the I'm logged into my pushover account inside of this pullover app. So what I've done is if I create if I go over to um, IFTTT this here I can turn it off I can edit this and what I've got here is 
new feed item matches. So I'm gonna I've got conference in here as a keyword. And then all I need is the feed URL for the main topics feed. Now that one's broken at the moment, as I said. So if I go through to here and grab this one instead, and then go through to ift and put this in here. Now what this will do is and <clears throat> and this other stuff here at the bottom, send a push over notification. This is how it sends that details through. So as soon as it finds or matches a keyword in that RSS feed, so conference, video editor, cinemagraph, what it will do is it will send a pushover notification. So it's got title here, entry title, entry title, URL, content. So basically it creates a message and sends it to pushover. Now you're probably thinking, well, why do you want to do this? Why don't you just check Upwork? Well, one of the real um, ways of getting those jobs is to get in early. So if a new job comes up for video editor and hits that RSS feed, the RSS feed gets updated every five minutes, then I will get that job within five minutes of being posted. So if somebody's on there and they're desperate for somebody to work, uh, desperately desperate for somebody to do the work for them, then I've got more opportunity if I see that popping up on as a notification of jumping straight in and applying for it. So you're getting a bit of a head start on other people. So you can see, creates this pushover notification, gives it a title, gives it an entry URL, and then you can select a message priority. So you can say like emergency, you know, repeat every 30 seconds until acknowledged, hide, bypass, quiet hours. So if you're working like a 12 hour shift, you might want to just like have that blasting through regardless if you've set quiet hours in the app. And you can also select a message sound as well. So really straightforward. All I have to do is save that. And then that's running on IFTTT. That runs 24 seven, seven days a week. So it's gonna scan that RSS feed, see anything with conference, and that anything new that's added to the RSS feed will be sent to me by pushover. So really straightforward really, just a number of apps. Get yourself an account over on pushover.net so you can sign up there. You can use it for free for a little while, seven days I think, and then it's for $4.99 and that's unlimited. So it can send messages um, to any of these notification systems, so desktop uh, and your mobile. I think there's also a pricing, there is a pricing in there for SMS delivery if you want to go down that road as well, but if you're a web worker, as long as you've got data, you've got Wi-Fi, you should be set. So an account on Pushover, and then I downloaded the free version of Pullover, so just do a search for Pullover app, which is the unofficial multi-platform version. I just found this version so much better than their version in terms of the push notifications that it comes up with, as you can see here and uh, then just get yourself an account on IFTTT and then simply just go over to your Upwork and each one of these categories on the left hand side, so Cinemagraph, these are recent searches that I've done. So if you if you click on the, the triple dots here, you can get the RSS feed for that Cinemagraph RSS feed. So you know that anything that's being mentioned in here is, is Cinemagraph, so you can really drill down the keywords that you're looking for. So it might be you're looking for Flixel, or you may be looking for animation or drone footage. So you can really fine tune what keywords people are using. And then instead of just being coming back to the Upwork site looking for every kind of Cinemagraph, you can come back for the ones that are relevant for you. Hopefully that's useful. Um, give me an upvote or a resteam if you enjoyed this, if you found it confusing. Just send me a message and I'll, I'll walk you through it and uh, help you out. Cheers. Bye.